we've got a little bit of a sheared heel here and this has got a severe flare. Okay, this has got a little bit of contraction beyond the vertical. Not much. I know it. It's probably three sixteenths of an inch or so. But I'm going to take this down a little bit and get rid of some of this flare. Dave, when you say a sheared heel, explain to me what that is. Okay, that's a, from a long-term unbalanced foot. Uh-huh. And this was longer for quite a period of time. No, this was and it a was, lot shorter. Well, what it is, it's appearance of being shorter because oh. the contraction beyond the vertical. Oh, okay. No, I see. This part of the heel is pushed mm -hmm. in, but it's also pushing up, which this bulb is higher yeah. and mashed. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. okay. If you okay. mapped it, Nancy, you'd see that your map line wouldn't come along here. It's like this. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what's happened with this being long-term high, that's why this has such a wide wow. flare. Okay. Because okay? it's the weaker wall because of its natural angle. This being near vertical, the inside walls are always near vertical. They're never flared out. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna take this down just a little. See how that broke off? It doesn't want to be there. It's all dead, it's all dead and sticking together. This I'm going to take down just a tiny bit. This is where, that's where most of the beyond the vertical really is. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this and make it totally passive to the ground. So it's not pushing up anymore. Then I'm going to go to this part of the toe and I'm going to rock her that down so when she is at rest, <clears throat> she's going to rock her on that toe, eliminating even more pressure because most of the time she's going to be at rest. What she's going to do is rock to the toe, relieving more pressure and those heels pop right down. And it'll start to open up at the same time it's coming down. Okay. making real careful strokes down here because I'm just above soft tissue and that's where I want to stop <clears throat> for obvious reasons. The other one. This one this is one? the sleeve that he's working on. Yeah. No, this one just wants to become more. Uh, is there something there? No, there's not. There might be. Right. <laughs> There's that rasping work. I hadn't seen it working before. <laughs> but Dave, what's the difference in just going ahead and dropping that entire heel and everything? You're saying that those two wheels are straight where you are? Pretty much. Because yeah. it looks like to me, when I look at that, I think the whole side of the foot is shifted up, not just the heel. It's pretty much. Yeah. Well, it's already passing to the ground. Okay. It's not He's touching all, at all. Um, I'm not going to It's not making ground contact. Yeah. So, just still here now. So, what does that do for the foot? I think that's what she was asking. What, what's that do for well, your goal? Road, maybe. 
This yeah. is actually going to allow this heel to drop down and open up all on its own. It's going to pull the tubules with it. What's the reasoning behind not well, taking that? If I weaken it too much, it still has the possibility of softer ground to be pressured in. Okay. So I'm leaving this a little flatter so it can resist against outside pressure. And then finally, so take a step or two. That's a good I got one more thing. I, I, I've treated a horse like this. Yes. Just one more. I hardly ever touch that. Well, it's real thin anyway, so it's wearing pretty fast. If you gauge her wall thickness back here, right. look at how thick it is over here. This heel keeps growing and tipping, growing and tipping, and always putting the pressure on the inside. To me, you can also help this heel if you maybe lower it a little bit, but also thin it, thin it back in here this way. Well, it's, it's thin now to the point it's not going to, for the next six weeks. This has already got a good straight growth. Yeah. Hopefully by the time it grows down, this heel should be fixed. It shouldn't be flaring out anymore. I see what you're saying. Yeah. And I'm leaving a little bit of sole here just for integrity of the whole foot right now. But but if maybe I'm maybe I'm not getting it, but this this is the side that's being compromised. Well this is the side that's pushing it. Well no, this is the side that was high. It's caused the sheared heel. It was, it was tipping the foot this way, and that's why this was so flared out. You can see how much flare we took. Okay. Yep. I I would have. Just me. I would I would do this. I would round this. Well, I got to leave some integrity here because we may go the opposite direction. But it's honking there. Look, it's to me. Oh, yeah. It's honking. But this is so thin. There's nothing for support against the wall. I think this side is so. Thin. Now, if you'll look, if you'll look here, you've got a pretty nice uh, natural slope of the wall, right? Yeah. And to me, it's just a little thing of following that around to the heel. Yeah, next trim, mm -hmm. then it's really going to be noticeable. Mm -hmm. The next trim, you'll see exactly what not to take, what to take. Right now is the setup trim. So when should, should you do that, in like two weeks, four weeks? Next week. Next week, Next okay. Week, yeah. So seven Try days. Try and keep what I just did uh -huh. there for at least a month. Okay. So it's and once then a week. And you've or... got all our information? Yes, I do. Send me pictures. Okay. And then I can help you with whoever it is you've got trimmed. Okay. And you're saying if you would have, I mean, normally on a foot like that, I guess I would have just taken that down, live soul plane on that inside, as far as that's like, Two live soul pine. Two live, right above live. And I would have really come after this flare from the outside. And you're saying. <laughs> that it would have been too much and allowed the foot to continue. Even if I open that no. heel and try to send that inside heel back over there. All I want to do is tip this foot away. That's my main concern now that the live soul plane. That's what you were saying. Yeah, it would have tipped her away because she would have been uncomfortable. Yeah, I don't want to do that because I used to do the same thing. I was taught maximum hoof mechanics for maximum contraction issues as far as healing it. But I can't see her next week. If she was at my house, I would have done a lot more. But she's not at my house. Does she want to come and get her? <laughs> um, but yeah, you could take that inside down further, it'll drop a lot faster. But if they can stay after it every week, once a week, keep that there, it'll come out. If she was at my house, I'd trim it down to live soul. I'd do more tipping of the toe, but if I do that, now I'm getting into more.